Peters and Phil Vickery. Hey, Les, Les. Oh, darling. Hello. Oh, it's always good to see Les, isn't it, eh? Yeah. Fantastic. Now, taking you back to your youth, maybe not even your youth, because I'm talking fun fairs today. Oh, God. Do you remember going to the fun fairs? I went last like, week. Right? Really? With the kids or what? No, we were meant to be filming up yeah. in the district, and I didn't tell my wife, so she's watching. She's going to give me our time. But uh, we went to fun fair, and we went all day. And the cameraman, mm. the sound man, the director. Yeah. We had oh, a right wonderful. Did you go all the rides? Yeah, the rides. Blackpool. Oh, Blackpool oh, is just great. What about you, Les? Any oh, good last memories? Last time, the bad memory. Last time I went, I had a great time, but I ended up on that thing that goes round and round and you stick to the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I came off and felt rather sick. Yeah. <laughs> you do. You get sicker as you get older. When you're young, you can cope with all sorts of things, eh? We've got a bit of a youngster here today, ladies and gentlemen, who travels the world on roller coaster rides. Let's find out more. He's from Manchester and his name is Colin McWilliam. <laughs> Fantastic. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hey. Thank you, and yourself. So where did you get this thrill for this, this kind of idea of, oh, I want to go on all these roller coaster rides? Started off many years ago, when I was about six years old, yeah. I went on the Zipper Dipper, which was a little kiddies one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And ever yeah. since then, I've been uh, searching been the hooked. world, looking for the, uh, the biggest, the tallest, the faster they build them, the better. Fantastic. Yeah. And lots more is going to tell us where you can find the best ride in the world. But first, we've got to find out the best okay. meal on the Ready Steady Cook Show today. Whoa. Let's see what Little he's got on offer for Leslie. Classic bag today, ladies and gentlemen, or more importantly, that's for our chef. What have you brought along here then, Colin? Okay, I bought some bulgur wheat, mm -hmm. um, I bought some swordfish, um, courgette, Granny Smith's, um, spring onions and tomato. Bulgur wheat, most people tend to use, and I, I tend to I like a little stir fries, mm. uh, but it's normally only rice, noodles, couscous if you're lucky. So yeah. bulgur wheat is an interesting one. The only time I've cooked it before, I cooked it plain and it was like eating cat litter. It was really not, <laughs> not very, very nice, nice indeed. No. Um, so looking for a bit of inspiration, yes, really, from yes, Leslie. Really. And how much did you spend? How much is all this? This is four ninety five. Four ninety five, okay. and of course you're probably going to say it's one of your favourite fishes, isn't it? It is the swordfish. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's quite a meaty fish. Um, I like pork. You know, it's quite similar to pork. So pork and apple, swordfish. And apple. Oh, oh, he's giving you a few recipe oh, ideas nice. here, isn't he, Les? No. I bet you got some from your mum, which we're about to meet, ladies and gentlemen, from Gretna. Please welcome Janet McWilliam. <laughs> hey, Jan, how are you? You look Come and meet Phil. Okay. Hello, my love. How are you? Lovely. Now, we've only got 20 minutes right. to cook today, so let's have a look what you've got in your bag then, Jan. Lovely. Now, what's here? Right. I've got some lamb. Mm -hmm. I like lamb. I think it's a lovely flavour, and you can do a lot with it. There's three there, so. <laughs> okay. Spinach. Mm -hmm. Again, you can cook it. Yeah. Have it cool. cool. Yeah. I love it cream. Cool. Oh dear. Yeah. Right. Okay. How much did you spend, Janet? Four pounds ninety-eight. Four ninety-eight, including the sweet potato yes. too. And <laughs> chef, you approve? Yeah. Nice. A bit cheesy, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. Uh, mother and son are delighted. I wonder how they'll feel in twenty minutes when I say, "Ready, steady, cook." Okay, let's go, guys. All right, lamb chops, very, very popular amongst everyone at home, especially in this country, Britain. Perhaps it's the uh, idea that you're looking for, a nice reformer, classic. Phil will be showing you how to do that. And we've also got that lovely bit of swordfish, slightly, slightly meatier fish, but uh, very, very kind of, you know, tough, holds up to all sorts of lovely flavours, doesn't it? It doesn't it does. sort of break down too much. Right, let's get cooking then, Liz. Fantastic. So, Colin, tell us, job. what is the best ride? You've travelled all over the world to find out these... Uh, Amazing roller coaster ride. What's I have, the best yeah, one of it's, all? Uh, it's a new ride called Top Thrill Dragster, which has uh, opened this year yeah. in uh, Sandusky, uh, in uh, Ohio, in the United States. And that takes you 0 to 120 miles an hour in four seconds. Wow. 420 foot straight up, another 420 foot straight down. Wow. Fantastic ride on it. Gee, what is it? Is it a thrill stuff then? Oh, yeah. Yeah, why do you do it then? What is it? Is it just it's like adrenaline rush? Is it like yeah, going it for is, a run partially. every day? Partially, it's, yeah. it, 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 it's out of adrenaline. I, I don't know. Some people like cars, some people like buildings. Yeah. Some people like roller coasters, and I'm yeah. one of those. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Are you going to get all the kids going, I want to go there, I want to go there, do you know what I mean? They should, they yeah. should as and well. And you've got a website too, haven't you? That's you right, I've got my own website with all the roller coasters which I've been riding on. It's mainly promoting British rides, because yeah. we have quite a lot of good rides in this country, yeah. which... They're not all that famous, to be quite honest. Sure. Um, and what's the best ride something... in England at the moment? Would you um, say? I would say Colossus at Thorpe Park, the Ten Loops. Fantastic. Mm. Ooh -wee. <laughs> oh, wonderful. And where can they check out? What's the website? www.ukrides.info. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's the only time you're going to hear it. It's the BBC. We don't Exclusive. advertise. All right, then. <laughs> Lovely. Now, what about your boy then? Growing up as a youngster, oh. did he have a lot of sort of. Uh, faddy eating habits? It was an extremely faddy eat. I'm surprised he's as big as he is now, actually. 
He went vegetarian. He went vegetarian once, you know. Yeah. Mm. What, what's the problem? What's that? He doesn't like vegetables. <laughs> I don't like vegetables the way you boil the living daylights out. Oh, <laughs> right. oh. <laughs> what, what, what are you trying to say, Cole? Was she a bit of a boiler? Uh, yes, you are. I mean, I, I she... thought I didn't like green vegetables. And now I live with a chef, I can eat many green vegetables, and I really do quite enjoy them. But obviously, being a teenager growing up with them, Oh, the boil. Yeah. I don't believe that. Too nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that. He's having a go, isn't he, Mel? He is rather. Ten, Three, nine, eight, Top there. seven, six, five, four. Absolutely brilliant. Well, hey. Now, how about that, ladies and gentlemen? It's exciting, eh? Our chefs have done really well. Lots of beautiful food, lots of lovely colours, and of course, taste, hopefully. Mm. This is your opportunity to find out exactly I, what it tastes like. I Please know. do, Colin, get Thank stuck you. in. What about a name then, Leslie? I think it's a uh, swordfish out of waters. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, <laughs> Leslie Waters is your name. Tell us what you did with your ingredients. OK, so what we did was mm. we split the bulgur into two. Mm -hmm. We made a lemon basil bulgur mm -hmm. with this one, which is just the bulgur wheat which is soaked, drained, stir-fried in lots of butter, mm. loads of lemon and loads of basil at the last minute. Yeah. And that's just served with those chilled, sugared, salted, tomatoes. roast That's the contrast, tomatoes. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and a nice squeeze of lemon. Um, here, we made harissa paste, well, our version of it, mm. yeah, and just very quickly Good. pulled mm. the fish through and mm. then used the rest of it to flavour along eating. with some turmeric. Mm. Cut, cut into the fish, go for yeah. it. Oh, and, um, and then served that with a sort of Moroccan-style pilaf. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we basically made a hot version of yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, using yeah, spices. Absolutely. And then here we just had the apple, butter, honey, Ooh, orange, spoon, and we made a um, cinnamon well, muffin top, this. which we yeah. kind of put on Cream. sort of halfway through the cooking time, and then just finished it off in the oven. It's just like making a cobbler, mm. but it's just not, you haven't got your cobbles, you've got. Absolutely. You know, but it looked so pretty when it came top. out of the oven, too, mm. didn't it? Okay, with the apple and everything. Mm. That's delicious. I'm yeah, gonna you're going to try that one now. my last meal now. Yeah, okay. It's the same dish, but we don't mind, do we, ladies and gentlemen? There you go. What do you think overall, then, Colin? Mm, beautiful. Yeah? Beautiful, yeah. Ooh, Is it better than good. going on a ride, do you think? <laughs> really? Oh, <laughs> 400 <laughs> feet up, I don't know. <laughs> All right, then. Enjoy it. Well done, Liz. Well. Good food. OK, That's over to you. The souffle still looks particularly <laughs> yeah, good. Yes, Great much. way of doing it in the pan. But, uh, hey, yeah, let's see you get stuck in. What, what are you going to call this film? Well, I thought we are going to call it a bit of a musical theme. I thought we'd call mm. it Stilton Ever Found What I'm Cooking For, because <laughs> <laughs> that'll become... That'll explain itself in a minute. <laughs> okay. That's right, that, quite, quite a good plan. Well, yeah, I like that. Gorgeous. Stilson haven't found what I'm cooking for. Okay, tell us what you do with your ingredients. Right, first of all, we um, egg on the. Well, we didn't actually, first of all, but we egg crumbed the cutlets. I want to show you this because it's a really crispy outside. Look at that. And there's Beautiful. no fat whatsoever now. And we mm. break on those, pan fry those mm. very quickly, and then left them to, to rest. We then made a sauce, a piquant sauce, you can't really see it there, but you can see there's the like onions and shallots in there, bits and pieces. Quite a piquant. They mm. made these little crispy turnovers, look at mm. that. The buttery, that pastry. The raw, do you like that, eh? Mm. Yeah. And there's the buttery pastry, and we made a few of those. Yeah. Bit of that and they made a quick souffle here, which mm -hmm. cooked in four minutes. So I want to show you, look, that's actually still runny on the inside, look oh, at that. Lovely. And that is exactly how souffle should be. And I was going to make some chips, Isn't but I uh, forgot all about that. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. It looks good on the plate. No one would know at home. I like raw sweet potato. Do you like raw sweet potato? Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. You like uh, red tomatoes too, didn't you? Yeah. Hey, yeah. And a lot more of them. But will she get a lot more, ladies and gentlemen? Delighted with the food, but is it going to be a green pepper day or a red tomato day? Let's find out. Audience, will you all please vote now? And up they go. And we can see today it's fairly even that there are one or two more green peppers! <laughs> Thank you. Well done, Cole. Hundred pounds spending money there. That's great. There's a few rides. Thank you. So many coming along. Well done, Thank you too, Liz. Excellent. Very, very good indeed. Mm. Well, it was a bit close there, wasn't it, eh? Hey? Yeah, lovely. And we like. We know you're a person who likes to have a few unusual oh, yes. ingredients. So we've got a lovely hand for you to take Brilliant. home. Brilliant. And I'm sure with the money that uh, Colin's got, he'd probably take his cool. mum out for a meal, wouldn't he? Of course he will. He better have. Has Phil given you some lovely ideas? Oh, he yeah? has. Oh, yeah. That You've got best. lots and lots yeah. of lovely oh, things. Uh, Yes, that's the raw excellent. chips. Raw chips, brilliant. Sweet potato chips. That might have swung a few. Well <laughs> done, Phil. <laughs> Always gives us lots of lovely information. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to find out what's in today's quickie bag. But in the meantime, say a very big thank you to mother and son, Colin and Janice. <laughs>